Hello children. So welcome to AIMS India's online classes. Today from mathematics subject, integers topic we are going to learn. So regarding textbook topic we have learned some uh, topics regarding the integers chapter. Uh, let's uh, continue the integers topic somewhat uh, extra content related to integers topic. So here, one minute, children. One minute. So in nineteenth century, these negative numbers were accepted. So integers means already we know, uh, along with zero, we will be having positive numbers, positive integers on the right hand side and uh, negative integers on the left hand side. Actually this uh, negative numbers they were accepted in 19th century. So the word integer, the word integer was first introduced in 1563 by a man named Arbor Mouth Holst. Arbor, Ar Arbor Mouth Holst. So while he was doing an experiment he found out about this integers. He found out about this integers. So the word integer in Latin it means untouched or undivided or whole. So like that it is having so many meanings. The symbol for integers is z. So positive integers are denoted with plus z. Negative integers are denoted with minus z. The symbol z is often used to denote set of integers. Actually, this uh, symbol z originates from Zalen, which means number in German. So, this symbol z is originated from a German word. So, Zalen, which means number, which means numbers. So, the name of integers, so it was, they were named these negative numbers were named as integers in 1563 by Arbor Mouth Holst. Okay. So next. So here. One minute. Next here. So about uh, all these properties already we have learnt. Those set of integers how to represent them on the number line. So, in the middle 0 will be there, right hand side positive integers will be there and left hand side negative integers will be there. So, the set of integers we can represent in flower braces dash 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 minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Means uh, highest uh, integer we cannot tell or it do not exist. And the lowest integer also, the, it does not exist or we cannot guess. Okay. About this closure property, commutative property, associative, distributive, about all these properties already we have learned in our previous videos. Okay. So let us go to next, next slide. So these are the revision of uh, textbook topics what we have learned. So the integers means collection consisting of natural numbers 0 and uh, negatives of natural numbers is called integers. Means 1, 2, 3, 4 are natural numbers 0 and these are negatives of natural numbers. This minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 they are negatives of natural numbers. These are all. This collection is called as integers. Sometimes it is denoted by i, sometimes by z. So, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. These are called negative integers. 1, 2, 3, 4 are called positive integers. So, here 0 is, it is neither positive nor negative. It is neither positive nor negative. So, here the collection of, collection starting from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on is called collection of non-negative integers collection of non-negative integers because here we cannot tell them as 
positive integers. We cannot tell them as positive integers because 0 is not neither positive nor negative. So that's why we call them as non-negative integers. Y means it is not having any negative integers. So that's why we call it as uh, non-negative integers. So okay. This integers can be represented on number line regarding that already we have learned. Any two integers can be added or subtracted. Children, if you are watching this video, so before this video, we have five parts of uh, integers videos. Please watch that five parts. After watching that five parts, this, pa this concept you can understand. So this is the sixth part actually. So before understanding this sixth part, you have to complete this uh, one to five videos. Five videos you have to complete. So this is the sixth video. Okay, children. So next, here. Yeah. So any two integers can be added or subtracted. So integers are closed, means they follow closer property under addition and subtraction. Means if A is an integer, B is an integer, A plus B also an integer, A minus B also an integer. So that's why they follow closer property under addition and subtraction. So addition is commutative for integers. Means a plus b and b plus a, same result we will get. So two numbers, two integers can be added in any way. Means they are commutative in nature. Not only two numbers, three numbers, we can, three integers, we can add in any way. So here a, b are associated with each other, then with c, here b, c are associated with each other, then added with a. We can add in this way, we cannot in this way. The grouping may be a plus b or b plus c, but the sum of three integers is always same. We can add in any order. So this is called associative property. So integers, they follow associative property under addition under addition. Okay. So next. The integer 0 is said to be the identity, the identity element, the identity element under addition. Means for any integer, if we add 0, its identity does not change us. The integer identity does not change us it will be equal to itself. It will be equal to A. So that's why 0 is called identity element under addition. 0 plus A plus 0 or 0 plus A equals to A for every integer A. So 0 is called additive identity. Additive identity. So not only identity, so every integer, it also has unique additive inverse unique additive inverse means whenever an integer added to its inverse suppose 2 is there plus 2 is there what is its inverse minus 2 if we add plus 2 to minus 2 what happens total result will be 0 total sum will be 0 total sum will be 0 so whenever integer added to, whenever an integer is added to its inverse the sum will be 0 so that's why here uh, the sum is 0, which is a additive identity. Here 0 is additive identity. So here if a is an integer, its additive inverse is minus a. Why? Because a plus a minus a equals to 0. Additive inverse of 2 is minus 2. Additive inverse of minus 4 is plus 4. Additive inverse of 0 is 0 only. Because 0 does not have any minus sign, plus sign. So that's why additive inverse of 0 is again 0. So next. So under subtraction, these integers, they won't follow commutative associative property. They won't follow commutative associative property. Means a minus b is not equal to b minus c. 
in any order we cannot subtract some will be different sorry difference will be different or three three integers are there three integers are there we cannot subtract them in any order we can but the result will not be equal so they are not commutative they are not associative and they have no identity element or inverse element they don't have any identity element or inverse element they don't have identity element or inverse element under subtraction under subtraction because a minus 0 equals to a but 0 minus a equals to minus a difference of 0 and a difference of 0 and a is minus a here we have taken a but we have we have got minus a so that's why uh, in this case it may be true but in this case it is not true so there is no identity element there is no inverse element but integers are closed under multiplication means if a is an integer b is an integer their product c also an integer they follow a closer property in multiplication so product of two positive integers always positive plus into plus equals to plus positive and negative is negative means plus into minus equals to minus positive into negative always negative or uh, product of uh, or product of uh, minus into minus negative into negative also positive means plus into plus positive minus into minus positive means same sign multiply twice means positive will come or plus into minus minus or minus into plus also minus different sign product negative sign will come So, 12 to 15, okay, still the same points repeated again, okay. This slide, we can delete, delete this slide, no need, okay, same points repeated. Next, next, product of even number of negative integers is positive, means minus into minus, positive, because minus we have multiplied two times which is an even number or minus into minus into minus into minus four times then also minus into minus plus minus into minus plus plus into plus plus then also it will be positive means negative sign if you multiply even number of times two times four times six times eight times like that then product will be positive or if we multiply odd number of times means minus into minus into minus three times odd number of times minus into minus plus plus into minus minus then negative sign will come means if negative integers are uh, multiplied odd number of times then negative integer only will come so multiplication is commutative means a into b equals to b into a this is true so that's why multiplication is multiplication is commutative so multiplication is also associative so a into b into c equals to a into b into c it is also associative in multiplication identity element also exists exists which is one means if you multiply a with one or one with a answer will be a, A only. Answer will be A only. Next. So, here multiplication is also distributive over addition. It is also distributive over addition. This property is called distributive property. Means A plus B into, sorry, A into B plus C is there. 
here we have into here addition product and addition is there this product can be distributed to b distributed to c means a into b we can write plus a into c means multiplication is distributed for both the terms or over addition so this is called distributive property or if we have b plus c into a right hand side we have single element then also b into a plus c into a like that we can write okay next integers are not closed under division so if uh, integer is uh, divided by another integer we may or may not get an integer because 12 divided by 4 4 3 times 12 we are getting 3 as answer which is an integer but 11 divided by 7 it is not at all divisible it will be like that only 11 by 7 only which is a fraction or which is a rational number q which is not integer so if we divide two integers may be an integer may not be an integer so they are not closed for division or they won't follow closer property they won't follow closer property next next one next division gives an integer if division gives an integer then when a positive integer is divided by negative integer like 4 by 2 so then the coefficient is ah oh sorry when positive integer divided by positive integer plus by plus plus by plus equals to plus 2 2 times 4 so result will be positive integer when when a positive integer is divided by positive integer result is a positive integer means when the numerator is positive denominator it is positive result will be positive or when a positive integer divided by negative integer then the coefficient plus by minus minus 2 2 times 4 then the coefficient is negative then the coefficient is negative coefficient is negative when a negative integer divided by positive integer reverse minus 4 by plus 2 minus 4 by plus 2 here also minus by plus minus 2 2 times 4 positive by negative negative only negative by positive negative only in both cases the coefficient will be negative integer whereas if we have if we have negative integer by negative integer negative negative cancel the result will become positive 4 2 times 4 means during division same sign is there means it will become positive integer for numerator denominator different sign is there means the result will be negative result will be negative next one so for any integer a a divided by 0 a divided by 0 is not defined why means in denominator place in denominator place if we have 0 that is not defined so a divided by 0 is not defined but a divided by 1 will be a only means if we divide by 1 any number if we, if it is divided by 1 same number will come or any number if it is divided by same number both will cancel one will be the answer where a is not equal to zero whenever we are considering denominator we should take one assumption here a not equal to zero denominator is not equal to zero so here division of integers neither commutative nor associative means a by b is not equal to b by a or a by b by c is not equal to a by b by c 
a by b by c is not equal to a by b by c. Uh, two two integers. They if the order of uh, division is changed, numerator denominator are exchanged, result also will be different. So they are not commutative, they are not associative, they don't have any identity element, or they don't have any inverse element like addition. Okay, children, these are the basics. Basics, children. Already, this basics we have learnt. Already, this basics in our previous five videos we have learnt. So, so please uh, revise that uh, five videos and then come back to this sixth video. Next. Next, children. So, the extension part, synopsis 1.2. So, simplification of integers. Simplification of integers. So here topic is how to simplify integers. So when simplifying mathematical expressions which involve different operations in which they are performed is, is, to, is important to avoid confusion. So the while uh, doing simplification, while doing simplification, we have to follow some rules to avoid the confusion. A standard rule is called Bodmas rule. B O D M A S. Bodmas rule, where B stands for brackets, O stands for of, means which means into, or product, or bracket. I'm sorry, into, D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition, S for subtraction. So brackets, of, division, multiplication addition subtraction means in one uh, in same problem if all the symbols are involved means first we have to do bracket means first we have to simplify the terms which are in the brackets next uh, which are uh, written uh, off between the numbers that operations so next uh, they should be divided next multiply next addition next subtraction this board mass rule we have to keep in mind when during the problems which are involving involving many mathematical operations like plus minus into by like that if it has many mathematical operations board mass rule to be used so rule 1 so here so addition comes Addition comes before subtraction. Addition comes before subtraction. Suppose we have uh, we have here eighteen minus four plus six. Eighteen minus four plus six. According to Bodmas rule, from addition and subtraction, addition has to come first. So this add symbol both. Plus symbols we will write together. Minus 4 we will write it separate. First they will be added. 18 plus 6 24. 24. Next minus 4. Now they will be subtracted. So addition first. Subtraction next. Like that only we have to solve the problem. Like that only we have to solve the problem. So our second example. 29.3 3.5 minus 1.2. Already they gave addition in group they can be added 32.8 minus 1.2 equal to 31.6 31.6 so next multiplication comes before addition and subtraction if you have problem like this 12 into 2 plus 4 minus 9 first what we have to do because we have addition so we have multiplication addition subtraction what we have to do first? Multiplication to be done first. Because in Bodmas rule, multiplication is before addition subtraction. So 12 2 times 24. 4 minus 9. Next addition subtraction. Addition first. 24 plus 4, 28. Minus 9. Last subtraction. 19 is the answer. 19 is the answer. Here. 
7.2 minus 1.5 into 2 plus 1.8. Multiplication first. 1.5 into 2, 3. 3.0 or 3. Next, addition. Plus symbols to, uh, to be written together. Minus to be written in the last. 7.2 plus 1.8, 9.0 minus 3, 6.0. Next, 1 by 2 plus, 1 by 3 plus, 3 into 3 by 10. First, into first, multiplication first. So, 1 by 3 into 3 by 10, 3, 3 cancel, 1 by 10. 1 by 2 plus, 1 by 10. We can take the LCM, we will get the answer. Next. Yeah, next. So, division comes before multiplication. So, in board mass rule, board mass rule, division, D will come before multiplication, before addition, before subtraction. This division. Suppose if you have question like this. So, 10 minus 8 divided by 4 plus 2 into 6. So, by seeing this all mathematical operation, operations we should not get confused. First, division first. 8 divided by 4. 2 will come. So, this we will simplify first. Minus will be minus only. 8 divided by 4, 2. Next. Next, plus 2. Next, into 6. Next, subtraction, addition, multiplication. Multiplication first, 10 minus 2 plus 2, 6 times 12. Next, addition, 12 to be written first, 10 plus 12 minus 2. 10 plus 12, 22 minus 2. So, answer 20. Answer 20. So, rule 4. Rule 4, when there are brackets, the operations within the brackets are worked out first to get one number so that we can remove the brackets. So, we will get one number within the bracket. We can remove the brackets and we can combine with the others. So, if we get one number within the bracket, brackets are removed by multiplying the number within the bracket by the sign and the number outside. Means, bracket outside if we have 2. So, then in bracket inside if we have 3 plus 4, what does it mean? the inside terms to be multiplied with outside term 2 into 3 plus 2 into 4 like that like that we can remove the bracket so this is the sign rule for multiplication plus into plus plus minus into minus plus plus into minus minus sorry minus into plus minus plus into minus minus Next year, need for brackets. Need for brackets. Sometimes we may need to group two or more terms together and perform the other operations involving them before we perform some operation. At that time, we will make use of brackets. So, if I have 2x plus 3 in one bracket plus r, so y minus 5 like that, I can have. Uh, different values in different brackets. So, that this operation to be done first, simplified first, then to be multiplied with this one. So, the operations to be done first, the operations to be done first are placed within the brackets. So, here suppose this example, find the product of sum of 4 and 8 and the difference of 9 and 7. So, they are asking to find product of sum of 4 and 8, means one, one group, one category and difference of 9 and 7, another group, another category. These two product we have to do. These two product we have to do, means sum of 4 and 8, means 4 plus 8. Difference of 9 and 7, 9 minus 7, product means into means this sum to be done separately 
this difference to be done separately after getting the values both to be multiplied. 4 plus 8, 12, 9 minus 7, 2, 24. So, addition and subtraction done before multiplication. Actually, in board mass rule, multiplication after addition and subtraction we have, we have to do. But here, before product only, we have done addition, subtraction. Why means? They are, they are in brackets. They are in brackets. This brackets operation to be done before multiplication. Before multiplication. So, that is why we have done like that. So, here types of brackets. So, here sometimes we have to group many operations. We need to use more than one kind of brackets. So, that is why we have uh, different kinds of brackets, simple brackets, round brackets or parentheses like this round brackets or simple brackets. Braces or curly brackets or flower braces like this, flower braces, square brackets like this, square shape, square brackets or sometimes a draw a line is drawn above all the numbers grouped under it and it is called line break or viniculum. Sometimes 0 0.234 bar. This part, this 234, the bar is indicated here. Sometimes. So, this uh, viniculum or line bracket is not often used. This last type is not often used. The most commonly used bracket is round bracket or simple bracket. Uh, suppose if we have all the brackets at a time, so then how to remove them in order means first viniculum to be removed. Next, this uh, simple brackets to be removed. Next, flower braces, braces. Next, square brackets. Like that we have to remove. Like that we have to remove. So, here let us see this example, uh, interesting example. Mrs. Lal wanted to give chocolates in her class on teacher's day. On the occasion of teacher's day, she wanted to give chocolates to the students. She had 8 packets containing 12 chocolates each, 12 chocolates each and 4 extra. She now had to divide these among 25 children in her class. How much would each child get? So, she had 8 packets of uh, chocolates. Each packet is having 12 chocolates. So, total how many? 8, 12 times 96. Along with that, she had 4 extra. Means 8 into 12 plus 4 or 4 plus 8 into 12. When she divides this uh, number 4 plus 8 into 12 by 25, because she is dividing among 25 children, we have to divide this 4 plus 8 into 12 divided by 25. So, already one flower uh, simple brackets are there, we will make use of flower braces. Flower braces, this total term which is to be divided by 25. Now, this is the expression. So, according to board mass rule, what we have to do first? B O D M A S. Brackets we have to do first. 8, 12 times 96. Brackets we have to do first. Again, here one more bracket came. 4 plus 96. Again, how much? 100 divided by 25. 100 divided by 25 means 4. 4. So, like that we can calculate. So, okay, children, that's all for today. So, thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. Thank you. Have a good day.